From being a quirkless kid with no hope of ever becoming a hero to becoming humanity's only hope in the fight against ultimate evil, these are all of Deku's forms in My Hero Academia. As a child, Deku greatly admired heroes, always dreaming of becoming as incredible as them. Unfortunately, by the time the children his age started manifesting their quirks, he wasn't showing any signs of his powers, and he soon discovered that he was born quirkless. Despite his condition, Deku remained optimistic, always learning more and more about the heroes around him. As he studied pro heroes for years, he became familiar with many fundamental hero skills and tactics. He was eventually able to use some of those skills when he took on the Sludge Villain in order to protect Bakugo. His bravery and determination during this act caught the eye of All Might, the world's number one hero, and he decided to train Deku as he saw his immense potential. After 10 months of training, Deku developed admirable physical strength and was finally ready to inherit All Might's quirk. One for all, uncontrolled. After attaining One for All, Deku couldn't use it effectively, and his powers were mostly out of control. Furthermore, he needed to be really careful while using it as the power could quite literally blow apart his body if not used correctly. One of Deku's first achievements with his new powers was defeating an enormous villain robot with a single punch during the UA entrance exam. Although this was pretty impressive, the physical backlash at the time prevented Deku from being able to continue to fight. From then on, Deku was forced to develop creative and unique ways to use One For All effectively. For example, he realized that he can concentrate the power in only his fingers and create an enormous and powerful shockwave without completely immobilizing himself. By applying this correctly and utilizing his hand-to-hand -hand combat skills, Deku was able to fight toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the strongest students of Class 1A, such as Bakugo and Todoroki. Although he had One For All somewhat under control, if he wanted to get stronger, Deku needed to find a way to use his powers more efficiently. Which leads us to his next form, Deku Full Cal. Under the tutelage of Gran Torino, the former mentor of All Might, Deku managed to acquire more control over One For All, leading to the creation of One For All, Full Cal. This technique essentially allows Deku to spread the use of One For All across his body evenly, rather than focusing his quirk on one section at a time. When he activates Full Cal, red, vein-like lines course throughout his body, coinciding with the energy flowing throughout him. Learning Full Cal was game-changing for Deku, and it quickly became a key component of his fighting style, allowing him to battle against much stronger opponents than before. Furthermore, by studying Grand Torino, Reno and Bakugo, Deku learned how to propel himself through the air using the same movement style as them. This later allowed him to locate Tenya in Hosu City by quickly searching throughout the area. Deku also displays incredible reflexes in this form, reading and evading Gran Torino's movements, something he was completely incapable of doing before. Deku first began using Full Cal at 5% of One For All, but soon increased this limit to 8% after inventing One For All, Full Cal, Shoot Style, and fighting with Bakugo. He can freely adjust the percentage of One For All at any time as he sees fit, but going over his limit will cause massive damage to his body. Full Cal enabled Deku to compete more closely with his classmates in the physical aspects and even allowed him to fight against top villains like the hero killer Stain, who had single-handedly bested various pro heroes. Despite Deku getting much stronger than before, his body still remains relatively vulnerable to One For All's drawbacks, which gives him a disadvantage against stronger enemies like Muscular and Overhaul. One For All 100% One For All 100% is a technique that allows Deku to attack the enemy using the full power of One For All in the desired part of his body. Sounds incredibly powerful, but there's a twist. The specific body part Deku uses will end up breaking pretty badly. Moreover, further usage of the same limb after an initial attack can cause scarring, as seen in his fight against Todoroki, causing Midoriya to get surgery on his right hand due to injuries. What's truly impressive is that while One For All is at 100%, Deku can activate his ultimate move, 1 million percent Delaware Detroit Smash. This attack basically consists of Deku using his 100% Delaware Smash and his 100% Detroit Smash simultaneously, combining their destructive power into one attack. This is one of the strongest moves in Deku's arsenal, and it allowed him to completely completely overpower Muscular, an incredibly strong villain he had no chance of defeating before. It's important to mention that Deku doesn't actually use 1 million percent as that would be impossible. It's simply his way of shouting his feelings towards this unusual strength. Alright, compared to the beginning, Deku has become pretty powerful, but there are still many forms left that are even more powerful than this one. One for all, Full Cal. 100%. Okay, we already talked about how powerful Deku is when he focuses 100% of his power in his limbs, but what if that same 100% was spread throughout his entire body? How strong would he be then? 
Well, that's exactly what he achieves in this form. With Eddie's rewind quirk, Deku could use Full Cal at maximum power because she kept rewinding the damage done to his body. In this form, Deku achieves a tremendous boost in his overall abilities to the point that he manages to overwhelm Overhaul and plays a crucial role in defeating him. Deku's strength and speed in this form rivals All Might's, and he even gains the ability to move through mid-air using wind pressure. While using the Full Cal at 100%, Deku's hair rises, gaining a spiky appearance while glowing a brighter shade of green than normal, and blue energy flows from his eyes. In his battle against Flecturn, Deku unleashes this power again, but without Eddie this time. He uses Full Cal 100% to release his ultimate move, United States of World Smash, completely overpowering Flect and collapsing the entire room they were in. This feat is even more impressive when you consider that Flect had a Reflect quirk, which seemed unbeatable until that point. Two quirks Deku, Black Whip. In Season 5, we learned that the core of One for All has grown in strength from being passed from user to user, and the quirk factors of all of the previous users have merged into the core. This means that Deku can awaken all of the quirks that past users had, and this is exactly what he does in Episode 98 when he awakens his new quirk, Black Whip. Black Whip is a quirk that releases dark and powerful tendrils from any part of the user's body and was previously used used by the fifth One For All user, Daigoro Banjo. Daigoro used this quirk to bind enemies and improve his mid-air maneuverability. However, by the time the quirk reached Deku, it had gotten much stronger due to One For All, to the point that the young hero had struggled to control it. The very first time Deku manifests Black Whip, he goes completely berserk, putting his classmates in danger and causing him immense pain. However, after training with Bakugo and All Might, he learns to use a less powerful version of it. The key to effectively controlling this quirk is in Deku's emotions. Even Daigoro Daigoro tells him that the angrier he is, the stronger the quirk will be. During the Paranormal Liberation War, Deku's grip on Black Whip became phenomenal, effectively using it to swing off buildings to increase his mobility. He also uses it creatively to support his main quirk, and even uses it like Suyu uses her tongue, by shooting the tendrils from his mouth, as his arms were broken from the overuse of One For All. It's crazy to think that there are still five more quirks that Deku will awaken and become even more powerful. Three Quirks Deku Float Float is another quirk that promotes mobility by allowing the user to levitate midair. This quirk initially belonged to Nana Shimura, the seventh user of One For All. Deku first demonstrates this quirk during his fight against Shigaraki during the Paranormal Liberation War in order to dodge the villain's attacks. He then used Float again in his rematch against Muscular, steering clear from his attacks and remaining suspended in the air to prevent the villain from landing any hits. Moreover, due to One For All, Float's power has increased, allowing it to function similarly to flight. Therefore, just like Nana, Deku uses the quirk mainly for transportation to quickly travel through the city whenever a threat arises. Four quirks Deku. Danger Sense. The next quirk that Deku awakened was Danger Sense, originally belonging to the fourth One For All user, Hikage Shinomori. Danger Sense is a really powerful quirk, allowing the user to quickly detect any danger nearby. When the quirk spots a threat, be it a malicious intention or a negative emotion, it results in the user feeling a stabbing pain in their head. Deku first felt the stabbing feeling when Shigaraki severely injured Bakugo. He then felt the same thing again when Gigantomachia was about to get free from the best genus wires. However, he only realizes what the feeling means means after Dobby uses his flames to knock him out. It was then that Deku remembered All Might's notes about the quirks of the previous One For All users and realized that he had awakened Danger Sense. Due to the quirk's sudden awakening and Deku's lack of training with it, he found it hard to stay conscious while the signals were being sent to his brain, so he primarily used this quirk as a way to track down nearby criminals through their evil thoughts. Like the other quirks, Danger Sense has some drawbacks. For example, the quirk doesn't detect anyone who isn't a threat to the user, like Toga, who holds great affection in her heart for Deku. That's why this quirk doesn't work when she attacks him, as there's no malice in her mind. Five quirks Deku. Fajin. Fajin, the quirk of the third user of One For All, is possibly the most impressive of all the previous user's quirks. Using this quirk, Deku repeats regular motions, like jumping up and down, which builds up and stores energy inside of him and lets him use it whenever he desires. As the energy is released, it enormously increases Deku's power and provides an explosive burst of speed. What's truly noteworthy is that the user can choose to use only a certain amount of energy, making the quirk suited for pretty much any situation. Deku first uses the quirk against Lady Nagant and builds energy by jumping from building to building. He eventually gathers enough energy to become faster than a bullet and successfully defeats the villain. The only downside to this incredible quirk is that it takes a long time to prepare and requires precise release timing in order to prevent any energy loss. Six quirks Deku. Smokescreen. Deku inherited smokescreen from the sixth one for all user, N, and as the name suggests, the quirk allows the user to generate a thick cloud of smoke from their body. This smoke helps in effectively obscuring the vision of opponents and is often used strategically. Deku obtained this quirk shortly after 
the Paranormal Liberation War and demonstrated its use in his fight with Muscular. Due to his lack of experience in the Quirk's increased power due to One for All, Deku releases too much smoke, blinding himself for a short period. However, thanks to Float, he quickly recovers and effectively uses smoke screen again to greatly limit the villain's visibility. Although the Quirk doesn't have any offensive value, it plays a major role in fights when combined with other Quirks. For example, during Deku's fight against Lady Nagant, he uses smoke screen to buy himself some time to gather energy using Fajin. Seven Quirks Deku Gear Shift The seventh and the last quirk awakened by Deku is Gear Shift, originally belonging to the second one for all user. Initially, Gear Shift wasn't as strong, and the second user primarily used it to increase the speed of bullets. However, due to the stockpiling effects of one for all, the quirk got much stronger over time, and when used in conjunction with one for all, it's capable of warping the very laws of reality. Due to this incredible increase in power, the quirk became really dangerous to use. This means that Deku can only use this power as a last resort during battles. Furthermore, when Deku does activate Gear Shift, he only has about 5 minutes to finish the battle because after that, he will most likely faint due to the strain on his body. When he first obtained the quirk, Deku used it to inflict heavy damage on Shigaraki by empowering and increasing the speed of his attacks, to the point that he even broke the sound barrier. Additionally, Deku can combine his Gear Shift and Fajin quirks and perform an ultimate move called Over Overdrive. When Deku performed this move, Yoichi describes that his power is now at 120%, which makes him the absolute strongest One For All user ever. Click on this video where we explained all 10 One For All users in My Hero Academia. Trust me, you really want to see this one.